Moving into everything that I'm holding together was going to shatter. The skin. This is the tote bag. It feels like a whole month has gone by. The wrinkles. I'll take you guys through my makeup routine. I'm not very good at multitasking, so I tend to like either stop talking and do my makeup or talk and my hands stops working. My skin has been really good. Um, a lot of people ask me if I have any side effects. I have none, um, so that's really good. And the makeup products I use now aren't all natural anymore. Like um, my skin's been fine with like normal makeup, so and. I've been opting for that because one, it's cheaper and two, like the consistency of those makeup are, I find are more easy to use and um, I know like if you have sensitive skin and you can't wear those normal makeup products, I understand that I was there too. So. Um, if that's the case, I would recommend Movie Makeup. Um, that's been one of my favourite ones in natural makeup products. Their blush are so pigmented. I still use that. And their um, mineral foundation is really like it's really good. Like it cup, it has a really good coverage. Um, despite the fact that it's powder like I was never a powder fan powder foundation fan but the mineral foundation blew my mind it was so good I was like 10 times better than I expected it to be and my skin was really really dry but the and I thought the powder would make it even more dry not the case so um, yeah here it is I sometimes use it um, depending on the occasion, like if I'm going to the gym, I use this, but if not, I just use like different foundation products, but this one, I showed you guys in the previous videos, this one's a BB cream from Japan, it's called Deep Program by Shiseido. This one's been really, really good, but I find that every sun, every not sunscreen, every foundation that I use, I get patches of dry spots after a few hours of wearing them. See, my hands are stopping. I need to multitask. Um, so this is the primer slash sunscreen that I use. This is really, really good as well. Naked Sunday's mineral sunscreen. Um, anyways, I was saying, what was I saying? Yes, I get dry patches of skin after a few hours of wearing any kind of any kind of foundation. So I feel like I just have to fix the dryness on my skin and not um, rely on foundation to fix that up. So yeah. And my skincare routine has changed changed quite a bit since I last updated you guys. So I want to do a, um, I want to do a video on that as well. I've been going to the gym three times a week. Oh my god, you guys! I I gained quite a bit of weight last year during TSW, and I think it's because I wasn't moving my body around, burning calories because I was at home um, for a whole year, not being active, you know, I wasn't working, I wasn't going out to see friends, I wasn't doing anything. So I was literally at home for like a whole year. So yeah, so I actually gained five kilos over, so I think I gained like three last year and I wasn't weighing myself for a while because I didn't 
because one, I didn't have a scale at home and two, I wasn't ready, like I didn't want to face the reality. I know weight doesn't really matter, but I just wanted to and um, so pre TSW, I was like five kilos um, lighter than I was when I weighed myself after TSW, so a few months ago. And then um, I kind of like tracked it down and I realized that the three kilos out of the five was gained just last year. I think I'm too much on. See, when I'm talking and doing my makeup, I can't do my makeup properly. <laughs> I put way too much foundation on. Anyways, um, my point is I gained a lot of weight last year and so I started going to the gym and after going for like a few, a few weeks, I started like really enjoying it because of how I felt after working out, it felt really good and after three weeks of going to the gym, I actually lost three kilos, believe it or not. I could not believe it, um, but being really consistent and being mindful of what I eat really paid off because I wasn't eating the best, um, you know, like I had a whole year of a restrictive diet last year and I think because I had a really strict diet last year i i had this i had a lot of cravings and i just had to deal with that first before looking over my diet like i wasn't eating junk every day but i would have meals where i'll just have whatever i want and because my skin wasn't um triggered by it as much as i as much as it was last year and um the biggest thing was that last year I would get intense itchiness at night if the night I would eat something um, that my, my body didn't like but now my skin doesn't get itchy and that's been massive for me like I'll, that's the reason why I can have cheat meals here and there oh no I'm gonna redo my makeup because I put too much foundation on and I don't like it. It looks really, really flaky in the mirror. See what happens when I multi try and multitask. I'll be back. I'm back. I just did my base makeup. Looks so much better than before. I'm gonna go ahead with my shadow. What was that up to? Like, what did I, what did I cover? Hmm. Well, I've got, but I've been on Dupixent for seven months now, and you know how I moved to Melbourne. I didn't have a dermatologist here, and. I had like a few shots left in the fridge and in the back of my mind I was like I need to go see a dermatologist and get get more prescriptions before I run out and then I just kept it aside it's not very smart of me and I was on to my last stock in the fridge I I had one left in the fridge and um, that's when I was like, oh my gosh, I actually need to do something about this because in because in two weeks time, I'm going to run out of Dupixent. And so I went to the GP and got a referral letter from, uh, I got a referral, referral uh, I got a referral, re gosh, why can't I speak? I got a referral letter 
to this G uh, to this dermatologist in Melbourne. But you know how dermatologists have such a long waiting time, and the, the earliest appointment I could make with them was way past my due date of Dupixent. So I was like panicking, and I blamed myself for not, um, not. not being organized but I just I so I um asked so I went on the do big sense support group on Facebook and I was like what should I do guys like this is my situation and the people in that group are so supportive and um, they're like oh maybe do a telehealth appointment with your previous dermatologist in Sydney um, and so I did and they said well usually like we can't prescribe you to be extent without seeing you physically but because of my urgent situation they kindly sent me sent me the prescriptions thank goodness and that's how I got that's how I didn't run out of a I was really close I wasn't that close I won't make that same mistake again. Hopefully. Oh, I ended up going to the, the dermatology in Melbourne even after getting the telehealth appointment. I'm just gonna focus a little bit because I don't wanna stop this up. So the dermatology that I went in Melbourne was such a bad experience. I never want to go back there again. The doctor there was so like, uh, was so anti TSW, and he was. I well, as soon as I showed him what my skin looked like, I didn't want to say that it. I didn't want to mention TSW because I know that some doctors can be really like, um, not understanding. And I didn't want to get into any kind of like, you know, argument. I didn't mention TSW, but he asked me to show me a picture of when my skin was really bad. And I showed him and he was like, oh, so you, you did one of those steroid withdrawal thing, huh? And I was like, mm, yes. And he just went on and on and on and on about how it's not a thing it's just it was my stomach was boiling and I did try and validate my points but he just wasn't listening and um and he was like okay well glad that two percent is working for you but you still have patches on your neck and and here and here and here so um you should use steroid creams are on top of using two percent and I was like no, I'm not going to use any steroid creams because these little patches aren't affecting my life and I don't see the reason why I need to clear these tiny spots like do pixels been working I don't want any steroid creams but he was like well like these these um, little patches of eczema can spread out blah 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 like you and he was just like pushing me so much to go on the steroid creams but I just was like, no. Um, and well, he ended up just prescribing me two kind of steroid creams. I just wanted to get out of there. So I just grabbed them, went, obviously did not buy them, but um, I just did not have a good experience there. So I'm never gonna go back. Mm, but the thing is, it's hard to find a, um, public dermatology and you guys I'm sure you guys would know if you're in Australia but I don't know about other countries but um, a lot of the dermatologies dermatology here are private and they charge you like $300 per visit even if it's just like a 10 minute thing 10 minute consult or like any any kind of visit they charge you like $300 so I wanted to go to a public one because I didn't want to pay that much just to get prescribed medication so um 
So when I went to the GP initially, I asked for a public dermatology and that's where it took me. So um, I don't think I would do any dermatology visits in Melbourne because the one I went to in Sydney that um, prescribed me Dupix initially it was such a good dermatology and the doctor was really good. And I'm going back to Sydney after I finish uni, so I think I'm going to I'm going to stay for um, for a couple of months so I think I'm gonna go back there to get my new set of Dupixin after I finish with the one I have right now it's just not worth going back to that Melbourne one if any of you guys are from Melbourne and know a good dermatologist please please let me know <sighs> I'm going to Japan um, in end of October. Yeah, so it's my first time going overseas with Dupixent. I'm just gonna take one box with me, but I got a letter from the dermatologists um, to the airline saying um, I need to carry this medication with me and that I need to put it in the fridge. But um, we'll see how that goes. So I'm currently living in a shared house near my uni. Uh, the be is it really dark for you guys? Because the windows over there, it's not the best lighting, is it? Is that better? Um, what was I saying? Is this, is this better? Yes. So. Um, I'm currently in a shared house, living with one, two, three, four, four other people. They're all nice people, but let's just say living with other people is just not my thing. I just like, I really, 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 really want to live on my own. Living in a shared house is a bit un comfortable like I'm, it's just because I'm not a very extroverted person I don't want to use my social battery when I'm home I'm enjoying living on my own kind of like without my partner but my family is kind of nice because not that I don't like living with them I'm just like really enjoying the flexibility I have and the peace I have so I want that but I want to do it away from other people, you know, but yeah, I want to start working and be able to afford a studio at least. But the rent is so, so expensive. It's crazy. But yeah, I don't know how people study and work at the same time because I'm finding it really hard. Like I find it, I find that it's really like a lot even just studying full time i'm like studying so much and i don't know how people have the time to work as well if i had work on top of all the studying i'm doing in the classes i think my grades will go downhill really bad so i think in my last two weeks and update video and then I mentioned to you guys about how my nips were really still easy and that was the last bit of my skin that was kind of like um, affected by TSW. Everything else was healed up but it was just my nips and I have an update for that. So let me just finish my makeup first. were really oozy and that was the last area that was that still had a TSW symptoms it was the last bit to heal and I have an update for it it's completely healed now which is so great it's like it was so uncomfortable as you can imagine and like my bra would get really like 
sticky with the oozyness. Ugh, and like just like thinking about it makes me feel uncomfortable, but that's healed completely. I can say completely because it's just been normal this past month or so. So yeah, I'm so happy and I'll show you what helped me. So I've been using this jojoba oil. Um, this isn't sponsored, I wish it was. <laughs> But I've been using this jojoba oil um, for my skin. I initially started using this for my face because I have these like wrinkles. It's yeah, fine lines on my forehead. And I started using vitamin E oil like you guys have recommended. Um, but that went rancid. Um, and when oils go rancid, it's not good for your skin. So I stopped using it, sadly. But I was using it for like three weeks every day. It just wasn't working like I hoped it would. It really didn't do anything. And and then I came across jojoba oil. I was on TikTok scrolling through what what products are good for fine wrinkles, fine for fine lines, and I came across jojoba oil. I started using it. And oh my god, like it didn't really help with the fine lines, but my texture of my skin became really, really soft. So I can't stop using it. It's so good. I really, really can't recommend this to you guys enough. I'm sure like any kind of, any brand would help. You just have to be jojoba oil, 100% pure and natural jojoba oil. And I think this one's cold pressed, yep. Um, so yeah. It's fantastic. Um, I so I after finding out how soft my skin became, like my face became, I started using it on my body, and same results. Such soft skin, and I yes, and that's when I started applying it on my nips as well because I still had oozy skin, oozy nips when I started using the oil on my face, and oh my gosh, like from day one, from the next day, it. It was I could see that it was getting better and I could feel that it was getting better and I kept I continued using it and about I don't know like a few days in it healed up and I still use it every night after I get out of the shower and it's healed completely so I can't recommend this to you guys enough and another thing that I actually I'll do a separate skin Care routine video because I want to go over the nitty gritty, so I'll keep it to this for this video. Oh, yeah, this one's chipped off, but these are my nails. My OG subscribers, I'm sure you guys would know, but during PSW, I didn't want to go out to get my nails done because you know my skin was covered in TSW and I just didn't want to see anyone. So I started doing my nails myself and I was so bad at it at first. Like it didn't last very long, it was lifting and all that, but I continued doing it. After healing from TSW, I started going to get my nails done in a salon. And um, after like getting them done twice by professionals, um, you know how getting nails done costs a fortune. I wanted to get back into doing it because I had all the equipment and you know all of that so um since coming to Melbourne I started doing it myself but this time I started using acrylics and not the gel I learned how to do acrylics on YouTube and I started doing them and they've been so good I'm really liking it and I just love the design that I did so that's what I've been doing and um yeah, my, I've got a lot of assignments due this month because uni is finishing. Yeah, this week is the last week of uni and then I've got study week after that and then exam week the following week. So, um, so this month I've got lots of assignments due. Oh my gosh, you guys. I, so I've, 
like I was I wasn't used to because I haven't studied in uni properly before I wasn't used to um, it took me some time to get my head around all the due dates and everything like I would write all the due dates on my calendar but like I would somehow forget it or realize that it's due a couple days before and that would be like a bit too late because then I have to like rush through the assignment um, because I hadn't even started it and it's during like two days so I figured and, and one time I went to one of my classes and my friend who takes the um, same units as me um, was like oh have you finished it and I'm like I finished what and she was like the assignment for this other unit I'm like what and I, I just like froze and I hadn't started it and it was due that day and I was at another class so I rushed I started doing the assignment in in my other class and then I got home I had like three hours left till I was due and I like rushed through the assignment and I was able to submit it just on time but I, I learned my lesson and from then on I started writing when to start the assignment along with the due dates on my calendar so that I'm not like just coming across the due dates you know unexpectedly kind of and from then i've been on top of it but i do have an exam two exams coming up so i've just like got so much going on but after that i'll have a big break from uni so that's what my days have been looking like i'm either studying at home going to uni or going to the gym Thank you guys so much for watching i know it's been so long and so full of wait but i'm just so happy to be back and talking to you guys okay bye guys i love you guys so much thank you guys so much for sticking around i really really appreciate it okay